All right, hello. Ooh, yeah. I've got the computer balancing on a milk carton, and so it's a little wobbly, but <laughs> hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't make you seasick. Um, next question is from Lisa. Good morning, Lisa. Okay, um, so the uh, question is, how will this impact our flu shots coming up in a few weeks? I wonder if you're asking about how will the newly discovered swine recombinant um, group four uh, virus affect our flu shots. The answer is it won't, yeah. <laughs> so if I remember right, and it's been a while since uh, I listened to a talk from uh, the group that makes these, but um, the process of making a flu vaccine is pretty much a year round thing. You start out by selecting the strain that you're, you're expecting to be uh, heading on the way. And you do this something like six to nine months out and so once you've got the strain selected, and they do this by looking at what's the flu virus in the winter in the southern hemisphere, because that's the one that is most likely to then come up to the northern hemisphere winter uh, where we are. I'm, I'm uh, viewing this from a northern hemisphere centric perspective. I apologize to anyone in the southern hemisphere. Yeah, <laughs> I've got the world upside down and oh, yeah, <laughs> I will check my privilege. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. Hmm. Ah. Uh, let's see. Um, so yeah, you and uh, likewise, uh, um, people in South Africa or Australia or Argentina would be looking at what flu virus uh, has been hitting New York City the previous, you know, Northern Hemisphere winter, and that's how they know what to uh, plan for. And they're going to do that early in uh, that flu season. And from that point, it is pretty much set. They figure out exactly um, what they're going to use. They try it a couple different ways uh, to grow it. And then, boom, they've got their version of the strain. And then it is go time. Now, it, this is if the strain changes. They'll have to fiddle around for uh, a couple weeks. But it's really quick with trying to put together you know, uh, the, new, the new version of the vaccine. Normally, uh, the vaccine you'd get would have four different flu virus parts in there, uh, two uh, flu A's and two flu B's. Um, and so this is a thing where, yeah, they could add another uh, flu to that, but not at this point, probably. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess, yeah, maybe. Maybe they could just sneak it in toward the end, but they really want to be vaccinating. So you want to vaccinate ahead of flu season. Otherwise, once it's flu season, it takes a while for the vaccine to actually have any effect. And yeah, by the time it's December, you can still go get the vaccine, but uh, yeah, you may have already had the virus or you may have the virus, so, you know, before the vaccine actually kicks in and does you any good. So that's the idea. Yeah, flu vaccines take a while, but we're real good at making them. Um, and right now, this virus has not caused any real problems in humans. There are a lot of other kind of low-grade flu virus types and subtypes out there. We usually don't vaccinate against them because when you vaccinate against too many things, the idea is you basically cut down the immune response. You're dividing the immune response, you know, over more viruses, and you don't necessarily get as strong a protection against all the things. And so uh, I think that's the idea right now. They just want to uh, focus on the ones that we know are really bad. And if you start to see cases of this virus actually in people during flu season now, I think the Southern Hemisphere would be looking at that and they would then uh, maybe be the first to incorporate this in. Um, this is all uh, orchestrated through uh, parts of the WHO and various national labs that are all uh, connected up. Uh, they're all uh, UN members, so they're all part of that. So there you go. That's, uh, that's how it affects it. Not at all, but maybe in the future. Thanks very much. This is Ask Dr. Bailey.